best angle you're gonna get. Sorry, you're on my car stand right now. I'll see you probably when I get there. It's 11.15 right now, and I have to be there by 12. But according to Google Maps, I'm gonna be there at 11.55. Okay, so I got my outline done. I'm so excited. The design looked cool as fuck when he showed me. I have to go back in because we're gonna resume. Hopefully I can get a little time lapse in. I'm so excited. I haven't really been doing much. I literally just kind of sit there. I don't even go on my phone because I don't know. I just don't feel like going on my phone. And you can see, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's the next day more like the next night yeah I, did, I forgot to totally like update you guys and show it so so this is what it looks like now it has a sanoderm on it and it's kind of juicing right here i can't take this off until monday and right now it's saturday so i have four more days left i'm so excited it's pretty sore right now i like this occasionally to like because it's really warm i like big it is like this is my day one check-in with you guys it doesn't have like pockets of liquid slash plasma yet but it's coming in okay so this is my last day with the sanoderm i'm about to shower and take it off so you guys can see what it is after it's been like five days and it's monday now so it's all crusty and like itchy but yeah I just took the sanoderm off and it's peeling but I put moisturizer on it and it's like all gross and grossy. Oh and like you can see like the line from the thing. I was freaking out when I looked at this because I was like did I lose like a chunk of like the black from her hair like did it peel off with my skin or something but no. I saw, I saw the one over here and I was like oh it's her earring but it freaked me out. I was like trying to cover it with the skin again. <laughs> Okay, in this first video, you can see a lot more of like my scarring like over Lady Head's hair. Putting lotion on it every day, still moisturizing it all the time. It still is like slight peeling, but nothing crazy. This was the second two weeks later, I was able to get like a better closer shot. Still looks the same, the skin isn't as risen. I see, you can see on the dragon, some of the skin is still a little bit puffy and it still is a little bit now. It's looking pretty good. Not peeling as much either. I don't think it was as sore by this time anyway. Uh, didn't really get any good shots, but skin is like starting to heal. I'm starting to get like little, I started to get like little bumps or kind of like pimples on my arm because the lighting's really bad sorry overall though i think for the healing process of my tattoo like it healed pretty fast and it healed well i know my brother was saying like that it's gonna like peel like crazy and stuff like that and most of that was like after i peeled the plasma off and it was just like extra like skin and like all that stuff but it wasn't anything bad so I'm just gonna basically go over what happened that day. As you guys saw in the vlog, I drove to the place. It was like about an hour away. And I met up with my artist at Bobby Mac Art. I'll put his at like here. We did it in color and it looked so good, but I wasn't looking for color. I was trying to do black and white. So that's what we went with. Um, just a classic. When I was getting it done, it wasn't awkward, but you know how like when you're making small talk and you kind of just are kind of like, it's a new situation, obviously for me. Like I've never gotten my tattoo done. So I'm just trying to like, you know, make conversation with my artist. It wasn't weird or anything like that, but it was kind of weird for me. I did like so much research watching like all these inked videos that I wasn't like sure, like what should I say? I want to be like the perfect customer. And, like I want to have like good tattoo etiquette. I don't know. I didn't know what to say. It was weird. I wasn't trying to think about it too much. 
because it once you start thinking like the situation is awkward then it's just gonna keep we're just kind of sitting there like this if you guys see in the time lapse it didn't really hurt that bad it was just kind of like a pinching sensation but just like for a long time this part of my arm hurt like really bad it was like a super like pinchy area that's where i was just like oh my god it's the first piece on my body so like the placement and like everything, I feel like it's just like really easy to like just put it on there and then work around it. There is significance to it. I kind of like the meaning being for myself only. I have explained it before. I remember at the time though, I was like really nervous. <laughs> and then later Joshua visited me. He came and I felt a lot better. It was like towards the end of my session where everything was like very tender and starting to get like super irritated really fast. So he was like, it was really nice having them him there kind of like take my mind off of it. And then he told me to take care of it with Lubriderm. My brother, he gave me like this tattoo cream. It's called like Vitalitry. It's like one of those ones specifically for tattoo aftercare. But I did buy the Lubriderm. <coughs> I brought the one with SPF. This one heals it really nice as well. And it smells really good. I only wear the Lubriderm like when I'm going out. A couple of days later was my birthday. And that was when I revealed it to my parents. My dad was pretty chill about it, but my mom, she was really disappointed as expected. Um, and I wanted to do it, and I know it's really big for my first one, but, uh, but it's cool. Uh, but yeah. And then I went to work. I got so many compliments even, and people were like, that looks really nice. Like I said, like, when did you get it? A couple days ago, or like last week. Yeah, so it looks really fresh. And people really like it. I love it. I think it looks so cool, and I just can't wait. It's but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm keeping up with my first time getting a tattoo. Sounds crazy, right? But yeah, if you made it this far and you watched everything, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. Bye.